Well, earlier this month, P. Allen Smith was at the Nicewander Performing Arts Center for their first Van Wert Blooms. A packed house enjoyed engaging ideas as we're entering the gardening season. Well, every Saturday, you can get some of your own inspirational ideas from P. Allen Smith's show Garden Style, which airs right here on TV 44 at 2 p.m. on Saturdays. On that show, he also offers some cooking ideas, and that's what brings us to our Lost Creek Care Center. Stop in the kitchen today. Our recipe involves just five ingredients plus water. And here we go. You guys are super excited, aren't you? Our resident chef's back in the kitchen. Thrilled. For I get to How are we going to mess knife. this one up? Well, today we are making pickled onions, and I've got two taste testers over here who aren't so sure about the word pickled. I don't really know how to Maybe cut we're going to show you that it's better than you expect. Andy's already starting with the onion. You told me it might take a while, right? And so while he's cutting, let's take a look at what the ingredients are going to be that you're going to need today. One red onion, as Andy is working on already. Right? I also so, yeah. going to need Get one tablespoon back, yeah. of sugar, two tablespoons of salt, oh. a half a cup of red wine vinegar, half yeah. to a three <laughs> quarters a cup of cold water, like and some too. hot sauce. It's All like right, one of guys. Those little games with the time to heads. get going. No, wait, don't do that yet. Oh. Hold on. We have to cut. No, you, that's good. Stop right where you are. Okay. And <laughs> or like five year olds. Now, <laughs> don't move. Now you need to cut that onion into cut it long ways into strips. Nope, the other way. It's Just round. be careful not to cut your turn it up on end. Oh my gosh. First we have 101 of how to cut an onion into strips. I've never cut an onion. But but don't cut your fingers Still because like it could. So Matt, while he's doing that, go ahead and take those strips of onion and just stick them into this mason jar. And then you can so this is a very simple recipe you're going to discover. It actually just takes a few minutes to assemble, and then you're going to put it into the refrigerator for just at least one night before it's ready for you to consume. Where's the deep fryer? we got to make them tasty, right? For those of us who are looking for something healthy, deep fryer is probably not going to go on uh, that. Onions are pretty right, healthy. Matt, you're doing right? such a good, Matt Thank is you. such a good you, onion dismantler. Is the middle good to eat or no? It's like yellow. Uh, yeah, that's a question I don't have an answer for. Is that for. enough or? Well, you can never have too many pickled onions. That'll right? be it. So that's the first step. Cut the onion into strips. That was easy. And put it in the jar. All right. Very next step is to add in the salt and the sugar. So we have, we're actually using Himalayan salt today. That's oh, why it's wow. pink. Himalayan. So we need two tablespoons of the salt. And P. Allen Smith requests that look like one kosher. tablespoon. Yeah, we're working off of. Uh, not so accurate measures today, but you know, that's, that's how. We're, we're normally work. very precise around here. <laughs> yes. So two, two tablespoons of, of the salt. All right. Next, we need one tablespoon of sugar. Can do that. What do you think, Andy? They smell okay by themselves, but by I don't like texture of the onion. Just one of the sugar? Just one of the sugar, Sorry, I'm yep. Distracted. Okay, so we're done with all the dry ingredients. See how quick and simple this is. See, guys, this is great so far. Yeah, so far, this is great. It's going so far, great. This is great. Okay. Yeah. Next, we have the red wine vinegar. We got half a cup of red wine vinegar. Go ahead and pour That's that. That's homemade, in. right? That is. We are using homemade red wine vinegar. That's not a requirement. That just happens to be what we have. Um, vinegar, of course, is a key element in any sort of pickling. And then we need to add in about a half to three quarters of a cup of water. We just want to. Why don't you just get that so that that mason jar is about halfway full with the water. How long does it take to pickle? Is that like a week process? Well, you know, it is an ongoing process. So the longer that you uh, wait, the more intensity you're going to have. But also, you're going to lose crispiness with your onions. So this is the kind of thing that you can enjoy early on crispy. And then later on, you can enjoy them on your sandwiches because they'll be a little bit more limp. Yes, the final ingredient oh. is hot sauce. E easy on the hot sauce. P. Allen Smith recommends three or four drops. Oops. Um, <laughs> Five Kelly, or six will do. Kelly, our traffic manager, did this and actually What'd used hot sauce, and she used more, and it turned out really well for her. And so we got to trust Kelly. Well, all right. Andy, I'm not, not going to eat it. I'm going to okay. have like a little bite. Final so thing, just put it. the lid on it. And shake it. You can shake it a little bit. Yep. The hot sauce is sitting on that top onion. <laughs> you can shake it, Andy. Thank you. So look, you get to use the big knife. You get, get to use hot it. sauce. And uh, sugar and salt, very simple. It's going to be perfect, right, guys? All on board with the ingredients. Now we're just nervous to try it. Okay, so that was that's the one that we made today. This is the one that we made yesterday. Take a look at what, what has happened uh, since it just sat for one night. 
Look at how beautiful that color is. Look, Andy. Just get, prepare yourself. That's a, that's a precursor to let you know how incredibly tasty it's going to be. So we got some forks over there. Can I use the knife? Pickled onions. Uh, <laughs> I better not. Pickled onions. Here we go. Oh, man. All right. Try it, Matt. <laughs> Come on, Andy. You can do it. Ugh. Hey, I am impressed with you because you ate the whole onion. Oh, so I don't have to. You know what? You know, I've been on here a lot saying that I'm not sure if I'm going to like something. Ah. And I actually really think this is good, Andy. No, it's not. <laughs> yeah, no, I promise. I told you I like onions, though. Yeah, I don't like onions. It has a very strong aroma, which might turn some off. But honestly, that is not bad. it's pretty good. Well, you heard that straight from both of them directly. I'll be honest, we, oh. we walked into this segment today, and both guys are like, mm. I'm just not, not sure about this. Okay. The vinegar is, like, yeah. it's, it's almost like a Permanent Brothers coleslaw. Yeah, it's strong. Which is strange. Yeah. All right, there but you got it. Pickled onions from P. Allen Smith's recipe, slightly rearranged from our traffic manager, Kelly Getz. We thank you so much for providing mm. that. And don't forget, you can re-watch this food segment by going to faithandfriends.wtlw.com. You can also get the recipe there, as well as checking out all of the other health segments and recipe segments that we've had in the entire history of TV44's Faith and Friends. All right, that wraps it up for this food segment from Lost Creek Care Center. Back to you, Mark. Well, thank you, Jennifer. We've been telling you about this next event for a few weeks now. Dr. Trudy Pieper is coming to Gifts of Joy in Lima on April the 30th. Copies of her book about cancer prevention will also be available. Maybe you're wondering what this book is all about. Well, Trudy takes a moment to explain prevention is the cure for cancer in five easy steps. If you understand why you get cancer or how it happens, it makes it easier to prevent. And there's two reasons you get cancer. One is that your immune system is not functioning at its level. An immune system is always built by good choices of food. Mm. And the second is that you have free radical damage. So if you put those two together, that equals cancer. So there are lots of things that we can do, but just making some healthy choices that will uh, help our bodies. I love the fact that you've got five key points in here, which we could spend probably the next couple hours talking about. But something else that I think is very practical is you have 30 tips, 30 tips. And let's talk about, we've got 10 of those that we could focus on quickly. Yes. Um, just simple daily changes. I, I want to make it easy so everyone can understand that there's something everybody can do. And in the book, there are actually 30 tips, one for every day. So if you do one of these every day of your life, you are going to help prevent cancer. And they're all easy things. The first one is 10 almonds. Eat 10 almonds every day. They have anti-cancer properties and they're great essential mm. fatty acids. The next one is garlic. Put some zest into your food. Uh, research shows that it, that it will prevent cancers of the digestive system. Hmm. And here's my favorite, green tea. <laughs> Three glasses of green tea every day inhibits cancer cell growth because of the antioxidants that are in them. Hmm. Smile until your face hurts. <laughs> We forget about how easy it is to smile, but endor uh, smiling makes endorphins, and endorphins boost the immune system to create more T and B cells, which are white blood wow. cells, wow. and will are natural uh, cancer killers in your body. <laughs> tomatoes, it's garden season. You've got your plants yes. out there. Haul those tomatoes in, slice them up, and eat them. They contain lycopene, mm. and lycopene uh, cuts the risk of cervical, lung, stomach, and prostate cancers. Prayer Warrior, here's the one we all love.